This presentation is about conventional parts of thesis or dissertation that usually used by colleges and universities. What we will be discussing here are just parts and some parts only. We could give an overview but not detailed content of each. Details on parts and subparts will be on a separate discussions. Commonly, a five-chapter format or a four-chapter format is being used, although some are using six or seven chapters format. Regardless of the number of chapters, the usual content of the parts are almost the same, if not exactly the same. In the example in your screen, the five-chapter format, specifically chapter 2 or the review of related literatures and studies, is included in the four-chapter format in chapter 1. That's why methodology was moved to chapter 2. Presentation and analysis interpretation of data was moved to chapter 3. And Summary, conclusion, and recommendation was moved to chapter 4. Obviously, that's the reason why it becomes a four-chapter format. Here is an example of a possible table of contents of a four-chapter format. Aside from the main parts, the following are also included. Title page. Abstract. Approval sheet. Acknowledgement. Table of contents. List of tables. List of figures. References. Appendices. Curriculum vitae. The list may vary in your institution, so make sure you follow the format and template given to you by your research professor or advisor. Chapter 1 begins with an introductory section. The purpose of the introductory section is to set the stage for the study by identifying the general problem to be investigated and communicating information essential to what will follow in the chapter. The introduction does not include technical detail. It is an orientation section that starts with a general statement and proceeds to focus on a specific problem. These are the subparts of the problem and its background, which is typically divided by headings. You could also notice that the review of related literature is included here in chapter 1. It is because we are using a four-chapter format. The hypothesis is included if the study is quantitative or mixed method. Some format labeled it as assumption instead of hypothesis. Chapter 2 is methodology. It is the specific procedures or techniques used to identify, select, process, and analyze information about a topic. In a research paper, the methodology section allows the reader to critically evaluate a study's overall validity and reliability. Researchers typically select a methodology based on the type of the questions they are attempting to answer. According to Patton in 2015, as cited in Cornuta and Germain in 2019, an understanding of philosophical paradigms can help researchers choose a perspective most relevant to the problem they are investigating. Here are the subparts of methodology. Chapter 3 Presentation, Analysis, and Interpretation of Data Data presentation involves 
presenting the data in a clear and concise way to communicate the research findings. Data analysis involves processing and analyzing the data to derive meaningful insights. While data interpretation involves making sense of the insights and drawing conclusions. Chapter 4 obviously has three parts, the summary of findings, conclusions, and recommendations. Your research work is essentially summarized in Chapter 4. The study findings are discussed, implications are noted, conclusions are drawn. Additionally, it offers findings look ahead to offer recommendation for changing practices or policies and may suggest further study.